Inside this video right here, I'm going to explain to you the next steps that I recommend you take. And I want you to watch this video anytime you think you need it. What to do after a bad call. Maybe you have a call, a patient with a bad outcome. Or maybe you just feel that you need to talk it out after a certain call. We've all been there and I have as well. So let's talk about it. Here we go. Hey everyone, it's the Paramedic Coach back here with another video. If you're new here, do me a solid, hit subscribe down below, tap the notification bell, like this video. You may even want to save this video or share this video with maybe your fellow EMS providers. My goal with this video and the reason I want you to like and subscribe and all that is I want to get this message out to as many people as possible because I know people out there that need to hear this message. So if you can help me spread the message, thank you so much. And they'll probably thank you too. Now, I have three tips for you today about getting back to normal, if you will, after a bad call. So let me explain. Here's number one. Now, the first piece is one you may have heard before, but no one does. And the first piece is I need you to right now in your life designate somebody out there in your life right now that you can talk to after you have a bad call. I've had people that go and come to my life that I use for this, for the, in this scenario. Maybe you do too. But you have to find that person that you can talk to and just spill it out. Now, in number two, I'm going to talk about something pretty unique. So hang on for that because this is really the heart of this issue. Just hang with me. But the first thing I want you to do is you need to talk it out. It could be a supervisor. It could be a partner. Okay. It could be a family member. It could be a girlfriend. It could be a boyfriend. Whatever it is, whoever, whoever you are out there. But it needs to be somebody that you trust. It could be a husband. It could be a wife. Someone that you can trust and know when you come home that night or you come in after a bad call, you can shut the door and say, hey, look. This is what happened tonight. I just want to talk to you about it and just, I, I just got to tell you, I got to get off my chest. And you'll find that when you talk to somebody like that, you already feel better. And then, because sometimes in our brain, when something happens through our lens, we only see it through how many lenses? <laughs> One lens. But when you talk to somebody else about that scenario that you're struggling with, you'll find that it actually wasn't as crazy as you thought, or it, it, you did everything the best you could. And this goes into part number two, so hang with me. Now, working EMS, understanding, hey, look, I myself too have had calls like this, and I understand where you're at right now. Again, I want you to save this video. Watch it again. I'm, I'm here for you. In this video right here, I'm here with you right now. If you need me to watch this over again and follow the steps, okay, I'm here for you. Now, second piece here is, you have to get in your brain that you've been trained to help this patient and you've done the best that you can. Because here's what I'll tell you. You know, if you're working EMS for a while, the act of a bad call might not even get to you, meaning it was a very traumatic call or there was a lot of chaos on scene. You're probably emotionally used to that. So you may be like I have been, and maybe your patient had a bad outcome. And maybe you think, man, I messed up on that call. Or you know, maybe you think, I could have done more on that call. Oh, you know what? I did this. I should have done this. I should have moved faster, or I should have moved slower, or I should have done this. I've been there. I second-guessed myself. Yeah, right? But the thing about EMS is, you have to think like that. And you've been trained and you've been cleared and you're out there on the road and you're doing the best you can for your patient. You know, this is why I do what I do here to train you as much as we can. So when you get out there, you can make the best decision for your patient. But here's the, here's the thing. If I can give you a one sentence and you can like plant this into your brain, and I'm going to close my eyes. I say it to you right now. I'm going to internalize it to help me too. And everybody out here is this. Look. 
If you are there for your patients in their time of need, and you are doing everything in your toolbox that you can for your patients, and you are not lazy, and you are there for them, and you are on the ball, and you are thinking critically for your patients, you are there for them. Open your eyes. You've done all that you can. And you need to be at peace with that. Okay? And it's hard because I've been there. But I hope that message and I hope this moment here with me and you here, I hope this has helped the one person out there. This is the second piece. I'm going to come back. I'm going to give you number three. Hang with me. You're doing great. Now, there's a reason here, my friends, why I laid this out in three steps, because now we're going to bring it all together, okay? Now, the first tip we talked about was talking it out. We have to get it out. Step two is understanding your role, and you did everything that you, that you could, and you, remember that mantra we talked about? We closed our eyes. We said it to ourselves. Great work. Now, what's the third piece that we're going to talk about right now, and we're going to bring it all together? I'm going to say one word, strength. Hang with me. So look, this job, working EMS, is not easy, right? If it was easy, then everybody in the world would do it. But now that we've talked it out, now that we understand what we did was noble, the third thing now we have to do is you need to realize how strong and how great you are internally. Because when we're not feeling great about ourselves, after a bad call, you need to understand how great and how strong you are to even be able to be on that call and be in charge and lead that call as an EMT, advanced EMT, or a paramedic or a first responder. So, if we put these in the three steps together, I want to just tell you this from me to you is how strong you were to even be on that call. Think of all the people out there that couldn't even have taken care of the patient on that call. But you managed to stabilize, take care of that patient, and get the patient to the hospital. You, you did that. Yeah, you. All right. So there should be no feelings of, ah, I don't feel good about what I did or myself, or that, was, or that was a bad call. You are one of the strongest people in the world to be able to handle that call. You see? So again, my friends, Watch this video over again if you want to go through, through these again, okay? And I recommend that you watch this video anytime you have a bad call. Okay, save it. Store it on your phone, okay? This is what I recommend if you have a really bad call, a bad outcome of something. And I've been there. You know, a personal note. You know, someone today asked me, hey, it's ha literally, as I'm shooting the video, it's happening right now in my head, right now. Before I even say it, it visions. Okay? If someone says, hey, what's the worst call that you've been on? I have about maybe three, four, maybe five different calls that pop up in my head. Different scenes that I think, different things and things I've seen in EMS that e even if I start talking about EMS, they just appear. Now I'm fine, everything's fine. But they're always with you. So I understand where you're at and I get it. You know, we see things that, I mean, I don't know, I don't know the numbers, but let's just say, you know, maybe less than 1% or 1%, I don't know, of the population sees, right? But again, when you get a bad call, three things talk, realize your role, what you've done. Okay, what has transpired, okay, that you were able to do what you did. And three, think how strong you were to be able to get through that. Okay, right. So if you follow these three rules, you watch the video again. Okay, I'm, I'm always here. This video is always here. It's going to be here on YouTube for as long as YouTube is here. Okay, share this video with your fellow EMS providers. Share this video with someone who you think needs it. I'll always be here for you. I recommend you save this video in your archive and watch it when you need to. Much love. Continue. As I always say when I close my emails, be great because you are. I'll see you next time. Take care.